Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we're going to be taking a look at a map called Mammoth Valley. Now, there are five variations you could choose from, and which one you choose depends on how powerful your computer is. So, like this one, it has everything. This one doesn't have the snow falling. This one has less trees, but it has snow falling. This one has no snow and no trees. And then this one has no snow, no trees, and then the view distance is smaller to make it as smooth as possible to run on a slow computer. Now, I have a pretty good computer, so we're going to use the one that goes all out. So it has the roads, snow, trees, snowflakes, and an expansive draw distance. I just wanted to let that music play out. Every time you load up the map, you get like 10 seconds of music to play. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just let it play. Anyway, since this is a map with snow, I don't think a rear wheel drive truck is exactly the ideal vehicle. I'm going to get something with all wheel drive. So let's go with the ETK 800 and we'll get the fastest one we can, which is the 856 TT Sport Plus. And we start off in this kind of little townish area where you have some buildings around you. And that road straight ahead is blocked off, but you can get there if you really, really wanted to. Like, it kind of feels legit doing this because you're at least driving on the sidewalk and you're not just totally cutting through places. But you're probably really not supposed to do that in terms of, like, the law. But I did it anyways because you can't tell me what to do. And then you can drive along this road and it kind of just deads in into some snow and we'll probably bounce a little bit, maybe do a roll or something here. Yep, that's basically a roll. There you go, that's also basically a roll. Just let it uh, slide until it stops. The tree says we're going to stop right there. Got a pretty good amount of damage on that car. It's not going anywhere, but surprisingly, actually, the front wheels can still put power down. Like, I have no control over which way it goes, but that's impressive nonetheless. Anyways, let's go ahead and just reset this car. And now, just to prove the fact that this barrier cannot stop me, we're going to drive past it again. If you want to stop a YBR, you need a much bigger and much stronger barrier. Then we're going to drive along the sidewalk for a bit until we have this road to our left, which we're going to drive on. And yet again, another road that's blocked off, but it can't stop me. I'll just drive right around that. And once we get on this road, we're going to need to floor it. Because at the end of this road, there is a jump. And to be able to clear that jump, you need to be going about 90 miles per hour. So there we go, hitting about 90. So we'll coast a little bit. And 93 at the jump. Going to hit a little harsh. Get some radiator damage, but can I keep control? Just barely. I did clip the rear of my car on a rock, but not enough to cause any significant damage. And in fact... It feels like this thing is still driving perfectly straight. It's just the radiator that's blown. Perfect. So anyways, this road continues to about here, and then it merges back onto the main road. And we'll be driving the whole main road, so let's just get rid of this car by wrapping it around a tree. And I don't think that one's going to drive at all. No, that one's done. So let's go ahead and reset it. And drive along that road to our left that I've been ignoring this whole time. Yes, this right here, that is the main road. And we'll be driving along this road for quite some time because it's basically like a racetrack. There are very few detours that we can take along this road, but it's a really long road that loops around the entirety of the map. And we will be meeting up with the jump road in about five seconds, and when we get there, I'm just gonna crash into it. I'm like the worst tour guide ever. I'm like, look at this, we're gonna crash right into it. Bang. It's right here, here's where the roads meet up. Bang. That was a pretty good crash though. And drive shaft broken, so we're not gonna be able to drive that at all. We'll take a quick pan of the damage, and then Go ahead and reset it and keep on going. Now, when you look at this road, it looks like it might be a little bit slicker than a normal paved road. As far as I can feel, it feels just like a paved road. But if you go off the road into the snowy sections like here, that is actually much slicker than a normal road. So if you have a car where you're flying off the road all, all the time, you're going to want all-wheel drive. Or maybe just a slower car so you don't fly off the road all the time. But if you're able to stay on the road, you could use whatever car you want you can use the bull light here and even though it's a uh, rear wheel drive high powered vehicle you won't have any problem driving it in the snow because it's not really snowy on the main road anyways coming up we have this place that kind of looks like a tunnel but it's not a tunnel it's just you have some really high walls and then you have some rocks to go over the top as well so it makes it feel like a tunnel and it's just kind of cool to drive through i'll slow down a bit so you can actually look at the uh, area a little bit and admire its beauty what a beautiful formation that was and then we'll just accelerate on. And if you look at the mini-map right about... Not yet, not yet. Now, you'll see the road disappears. Why is that? 
It's actually not even a real big reason. It's just because the road becomes a bridge. And the bridge transition right there, real smooth. Like sometimes you got maps where the transition is really rough. That one was nice and smooth. A little rough right there, but there's a change in the elevation of the road, or the angle of the road in terms of elevation. So it makes sense that that would happen. And then we have this really long tunnel where you can't even really see the end of it from one end. So we're just going to accelerate the whole way through here. Probably reach almost 150 miles per hour when we pop out of there. And then we'll just crash into whatever's there. I think it's going to be more fun than trying to slow down at the end of this just to crash. I'm thinking we're going to hit 146 or 147 right as we exit. 147, exit, and pop it up. Pop it up again. So the engine's still running somehow. Obviously not going to be able to put any sort of power down after that. And the roof is totally caved in. Go ahead and reset that, and then can we drive out of this? Yes, we can. I did lose some part of my car. I think I wasn't paying too close of attention to what part that was. Hopefully it wasn't important. At first I thought it was the mirror, but I got both my mirrors. Now I could go back and look at it, but that'd just be a waste of time. It'd be much easier just for me to rewind the video while I'm editing and be like, oh, that's what it was, which is what I'll probably do anyways. So once again, road disappears, then we have a bridge, and then we have another really long tunnel. We're gonna do the same thing here we did last time. We floor it through the tunnel and when we get to the end, we crash into whatever's there. Although this one, it's kind of a smoother transition. So what we'll do, we'll keep flooring it. No brakes allowed until we crash. It's always fun to do that. All right, so there's a pretty big corner. There's no way I'm gonna be able to do that. Uh-uh, not without breaking it. Woo! That was kind of interesting the way it like sl slingshotted my car in this direction. Like we were going one direction and then boom, we were going the opposite one. That was really interesting. So we'll bring it back here, swap out the vehicle. We'll go with a ETK K series instead of ETK 800. So I gotta get out of the habit of calling the ETK 800 just the ETK because we got two ETKs. Anyways, we'll just get the uh, fastest one we can in a very similar color. The other one was purpler. This one's blue. It's kind of funny that they match up like this, but this is once again an all-wheel drive car. So it makes it easier if I decide I want to go off the road for any reason. I don't know if I'll have a reason, but me being the bad driver I am, yeah, we'll end up off the road eventually. Just you wait. So we got a really tight corner coming up, and I got two choices. Do it legit or don't. And if you know me, you already know what's going to happen, don't you? Yeah. We ain't doing that legit at all. Whoops. That's not even the corner. Hey, I'll take it, though. It was a nice crash. Let's coast it. Coast it. Coast it. There's my bumper. My bumper looked like it was flying. Whoa. That looked weird. It is the bumper, right? Or is that like the spoiler that has air on it? So it's all... No, that's... Wait a minute, that's the door! I didn't even know I was missing a door. Oh, I am missing a door. Ha! All right, just reset this right here and keep on going. Now the tight corner I was talking about, that is right here. This was the tight corner. We're going so slow, it doesn't feel nearly as tight as it actually is though. But it's a pretty tight corner. We'll slow down a bit right here because if I remember correctly, after this, we have something kind of interesting to take a look at. Right there, there's some rocks you don't want to hit. Then you have this little outing area where there's some shipping containers just sitting there. Not exactly sure why. Like the mysterious drop-off point for shipping containers that nobody knows the reason for. Some secret government thing right here, right? That's what it is. But you could drive around in this, sliding in the snow. I don't know if this is a dead end. It is pretty much a dead end because to maneuver that tightly while going that fast was not going to happen. But yeah, just some containers just sitting in the middle of the uh, snow like that. So suspicious. Like, I don't trust them one bit. Fun to drive like this, though. It's kind of like autocross, but then you have all the slipperiness. Like, autocross in snow would be a lot of fun, I bet. There has to be people who have done that already, and that, that must be a lot of fun. Hard part is just making sure you don't crash into things because you can keep sliding and sliding and sliding unlike a normal autocross. Anyways, let's keep on going. I don't think I have any serious damage from that collision, so we shouldn't have a problem here. We'll actually slow down a bit for this corner instead of crashing for once, because if I crash on every corner, it gets a little boring, don't you think? Now, every other corner, though, that's totally acceptable. So next time there's a hard corner, we're going to crash it, and then we'll swap out the car as well. 
if uh, we're not too close to where we started from. We're going to be pretty close, though. I'm going to go into here and fly! We're actually going to be basically where we started. Because that town right there, that's the town we started in. And since we're on the snow, we could just keep sliding for a long time. Unless I was to try to stop it, but I'm not going to. Can I actually put power down to the front wheel still? Yes, I can. So I could drag this poor car along through the snow like this and there's nothing it can do about it. Come on, go! 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 Okay. Well, maybe this isn't the best of plans. I think the uh, rear end of the car is just digging down too harsh to be able to really drive through that. So we'll just bring it back to the road like that and then we'll swap it for something that can do some off-roading. So how about we get the 8 Series off-road version and we'll put it in the Beeman G Orange or as they call it flame orange now we're just going to drive along the outskirts of the map a little bit so you can kind of see what that would be like because it's fun to do that because you got the slipperiness of the snow and then you got some bumps and stuff to drive along and it really looks like you could drive for a long time and that's true you could drive for a long time on this map just through the snow like i'm doing right now and we are going really unsafely fast with this thing i'm surprised it's able to maintain this kind of speed through here so easily that we're still easily like yeah it looked a little sketchy for a second but we're still easily maintaining a high speed not anymore not anymore not anymore well we avoided the trees so we made what would have been a fatal crash if we hit that tree probably into a non-fatal crash so that's a bonus anyways we set this and keep trying to climb this mountain as we just drift along I mean, it's easy to drift when you got an all-wheel drive in snow right that's cheating but we were basically drifting right there. I'm gonna go up here and I think this is the road actually. Like where you see that kind of big old collection of uh, rocks. Oh yeah, I see it on the map too. Yeah, there's the road. And this is the tunnel. I'm above the tunnel which goes through the mountain. So we're gonna try to climb this mountain as much as we can with this Vanster. Which isn't the best vehicle for this but it's uh, doing a surprisingly decent job. Now you can see though just how slippery this snow is. I am sliding all over the place as I try to climb this thing. And we're not going to be getting much farther unless we uh, can hit some traction on this dark spot. But I don't actually know if it gives you more traction or not. It might be. But I don't think it's enough to make it up here. That is going to be the stop for the van. So let's try to roll it then. Roll it. No, not going to roll it. Just crash it into a tree. Alright, let's bring it up to the top of the hill and then roll it down then. Because I don't think we're going to be able to drive it up the hill. You know, that is much taller. Now, I've never actually been this far out of the map. So I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen if I do this. But we're going to try to go to that mountain right ahead of us. It's going to take just a second. But there we go. All right, so you're not supposed to be here. There are trees floating and the texture quality is super low. And you fall through the mountain. Okay, that's why you're not supposed to do that. So let's just get out of there. Forget that. Let's go to the mountain we we're actually going to look at. Hey, you can go under the mountain. All sneaky-like. So we're going to go over here. Trees are still on the mountain, so it seems like you're kind of supposed to be able to drive here probably, right? Yes. And we'll just drive it off. And let it roll. Or not roll. It does whatever it wants to do. I'm just here to let it fall. Actually didn't do nearly as much damage as I was expecting. A lot of fragile, or I mean, not gentle bounces for such a fragile vehicle. Much, much better than I expected. It can still drive, right? Yes, it can. All right, let's do that one more time. And then I think that will be it for this video. This time we'll head towards the road down there. Wheel axle broken. That's not going to stop me yet. Upside down, that could definitely stop me. Anyways, that will do it. Till next time, this has been YBR. I'll see ya.